Hello everyone, I'm here to show some tips on how to create Y column using Archicad 23 New Features Multi-Segment Column. Place your column, open column settings, and go to segment page. Click the multi-segment column icon and click add to divide the column. Select the column. As you can see, the edit mode appears. That means you had successfully created a segmented column. Next, open Complex Profile Manager and create new profile. Name it accordingly. Mine, I will name it as Y column. Use field to create a new profile. Make sure to match half the size of my bottom column, which is 600 mm by 1.2 meters. Then select the desired peel pattern. For my case, I would be using the same material as my bottom column. Next, copy paste a peel and place it next to it. Then move both peels, place it at the center. Look for the X mark for your reference. And lastly, make sure to check use width and click the column icon. Then hit that save button to save the profile. Next is to create new modifier. Name it as Y column direction. Then click OK. Click the plus button and assign the modifier to the peels. Remember, we're going to use one modifier only. Step 1, apply modifier on the peel on your right side. Select both vertical edges and apply the same direction. Do the same process on the peel on your left and set the direction arrow opposite. So in this way, when I move the column sideways, it behaves equally, but they move in an opposite direction. Next, we need to apply the newly created complex profile to our segmented column. Go to edit mode. Select the topmost part of the column, open the column segment section setting, and choose the complex profile you had created. Make sure to choose tapered size and click OK. Now it's time to check if the column behaves the way we expected. Inside edit mode, select the blue edge line, and in the pet palette, select offset edges. Then drag the edge manually or you could just set the desired distance by pressing the tab key. And that's it. You have your Y column.